about today. It is about me looking at myself at 50 and say, projecting out and saying, now, as I get older, can I stay this weight and continue to be as active as I am today? And I came to the conclusion that I couldn't. Well, good for him for doing something. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie talking about why he had the uh, lap band weight loss surgery. The operation came shortly after Dr. Connie Mariano, a former White House physician and Scottsdale doctor who's been on the show before, publicly expressed concern about Christie's weight and how it could affect a future run for the White House. But Christie says he had the surgery for himself and his family. And he says he wanted to enjoy the second half of his life and live to see his grandkids. So far, word is he's lost about 40 pounds. We have Dr. Terry Simpson, who specializes in various weight loss surgeries here in the Valley, and he is on the show this morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, this is probably the least invasive, is that right? It is. It's the least invasive surgery. When he went in on a Saturday under an assumed name into New York City, he left that same morning with a lap band installed. Really? So this is the stomach. Show us how it works. Right. So this is the stomach. This is the band that goes around the stomach. It's attached to this, which is all underneath the skin. We can inflate or deflate the balloon. And the whole idea behind this is so that you can eat a smaller portion of food and not be hungry later. Really? What is the other end attached to? Well, this is on top of the rectus muscle. So it's if you have a six-pack abdomen, we put it where you won't see it. I see. And so how long before you start shedding the pounds? Really, you start shedding the pounds right away because you're eating less. Mm -hmm. And usually early on, we have you on just a liquid diet to kind of let everything get settled in and scarred in properly. But then you start eating less. And by eating less, you will lose weight. It seems so easy. Is that the easiest of all the methods out there? Well, you know, easy is relative. I mean, right. it does require discipline. It does. Okay. All weight loss surgeries require you change your habits. You eat better. You cook better. And uh, all weight loss surgeries require a little bit of discipline, but it's a pretty easy thing to have installed. Now, is that something that will stay on forever? It is. It can be removed pretty easily. I mean, it comes off pretty simply. Well, I see that. And we have an animation on the screen, too. Uh, yeah. Um, all right, well, what are some of the other options out there for folks? The other options are the Ruin Y gastric bypass. Mm -hmm. That's that. what J.D. Hayworth right. had. There is the uh, gastric sleeve. That's what the comedian Lucy Lapuzzi had. There are uh, the gastric uh, uh, duodenal switch. So there are a number of weight loss surgeries out there. This probably became the most popular simply because it was so easy and least invasive. Wow, and that's just a piece of silicone that's uh, just wraps a piece around of there? silicone with a little balloon inside. How long does that last, the, the procedure? I mean, the uh, procedure takes about 20 minutes to do. 20 minutes, yeah. okay. Skin to skin. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, that's really interesting. Uh, it'll be interesting to follow him because he's so public. We'll see him on TV and how much weight he loses. But, yeah, uh, good for him to start doing this great. And be for his health. Yeah. Dr. Simpson, thank you so much for coming in. There's a picture of the governor and his family. We appreciate uh, your insight this morning.